I've been playing Valorant since the beta came out and I've learned quite a lot of things. I've seen players do things right and I've seen players do things wrong. Today, I'm sharing with you the 30 things you should never do in Valorant. Number one, never repeat the op. If you know where he's going to peek from, it's best to hold the angle and wait for him to repeat. If you know he's peeking it, there's no point walking back into it. Never stand still and spray. If you miss a few shots, move again so you can reset your gun. Don't comp things that aren't information. Nobody cares that you got running gunned. There's no point holding down push to talk to complain. Hold down push to talk to help your team with information. Never have half your minimap showing. You always want to go to your settings and enable the fully enlarged minimap and make it as big as possible so you can get as much info as possible. Since info is so important in Valorant and most of the time your teammates aren't going to communicate it properly. Don't keep playing on round two if you have an AFK teammate. Most people don't know that you can do slash remake on the second round if your teammate hasn't moved for the entirety of the game. If four players on your team agree, you'll be taken out of the game and it will be remade and you'll lose zero RR. You can only do this on the second round though, so make sure you're quick with it. Never use this crosshair. Never steal aces from your team. Let me have the ace. He's so sad. No. Not only are aces cool, they bring up the morale of the team and destroy the mental of the enemies. Never buy shorty on pistol round. You always want to go for a ghost and util or a sheriff. Don't peek angles while holding W. You always want to peek angles by either holding A or D. You want to be moving left or right when you're peeking an angle to ensure you're moving the quickest and you're hardest to hit. Never hold an on angle. If you just stand still holding a very common spot in the map, it's most likely you will get cleared and instantly killed before you have time to react. Instead, use the angle to peek and unpeek to catch a timing when the enemy is not looking at you. Never take a 50-50 gunfight. You always want to avoid 50-50 gunfights as much as you can. If you watch someone like Tens play the game, he almost never takes any 50-50 gunfights ever. You always want to take fights that are more in your advantage to win. Never be jealous of other people's skins. It's not worth wasting all the money on all these skins and making impulse buys on things you get in your shop. If you're going to spend money on the game, have in mind a few skins that you really like and have the patience to wait for them to come into your shop. You'll thank me later. And so will your bank account. Never stay alive if you lost the round and you don't have a vandal. You'll get significantly less money if you stay alive holding your classic than if you were to just run into the bomb and die or just get killed. This could make the difference between you having vandal and full armor next round or not. Never run out on the site alone. You always want to ask for util or help from your team and make sure somebody can trade you or play off that information. Never smurf. When you smurf, you ruin the game for loads of people and there's just no point. Play in your actual rank, okay? <laughs> Never wait if your duelist is pushed into the site. You always want to play off their information or off their kills so that you can reclaim the site for yourself on attack. Even if they die, there's still an opportunity to get a kill there, so you should try and push in sight after your duelist. Don't play for KD. I see too many players pl playing for KD in multiple different ways, especially duelists. On duelists, your job is to take space for the team. If that means dying first on site, that means dying first on site. Obviously, you want to stay alive as long as you can, but don't take a ridiculous amount of fights that you shouldn't. Always play for the round win, not the round kills. Never dry peek an angle. This one's pretty straightforward. You don't just want to walk out into an angle in the open. You always want to throw a flash, a piece of util, or, it, or at least jump peek the angle first so you can see if someone's holding it. Don't be negative in team chat. Even if nobody else is talking, you want to be the lead voice of the team and be a positive influence on everybody. It is incredible how much a good mental can help with this game. So even if you want to talk smack about somebody on your team, just don't hold down the push to talk key while you do it. If you're going to hold down the push to talk key, be nice. If it's not for the sake of them, it's for the sake of your own RR. This is a big one. Don't waste Radiantite on Battle Pass skins. I know from experience how much it hurts to not have Radiantite for new nice skins that I've bought, so please don't unlock all the variants for these Battle Pass skins that you probably won't use again. Never insta-lock. This one's pretty straightforward. It's toxic. There's no point in doing it. Unless you are ultimately the best player. Unless you are Jing on Raze. I don't want to see you insta-locking characters. I'm sorry. Don't doubt your teammates. If they comm something, listen to them. There are very few circumstances where you won't listen to your teammates' comms. You want to be as blameless as possible when it comes to playing Valorant, especially if you're unsure where the last opponent is. If someone says he's hell, I would look hell, or at least assume that he's right. 99% of the time, they will be. And if they aren't, I give you permission to flame them. Okay, that did just break one of our own rules, but this is that 1% exception. There's a 1% exception to that rule, and if you are 100% certain you know where a player is, 
and somebody comms something else, go with your intuition, but for the most part, don't doubt your team. Focus on your own improvement over your rank. There's no point stressing over the RR you gained, the RR you lost, um, the teammates that you're playing with. You know, people are random. People are not very great at times. So there are games that are going to be 100% losable. They're going to be games that are 100% winnable. And they're going to be games that are in your control. So make sure you focus on your own improvement rather than focusing on your teammates or the rank games that you've just played. Never overplay when you're not having fun or you're on a lost streak. You're going to regret this and you're going to hate yourself even more. Never play on your own. Valorant is a team game. So if you're going to push something or you're going to cover something, you want to be playing around your teammates. They have utility that you can use. This is not Counter-Strike. You can't buy the flashes, the mollies, the smokes and everything. Those are all separated into different agents here. And if your team don't use their util, at least still play around them so they can trade you. And if they don't trade you, well then you're playing Blameless Valorant at that point. Never crouch spray. I think this one's pretty straightforward. Don't do it. Don't be the e-dating couple. And if you're going to be that couple, please take it to Swift Play. Don't fiend for skins, even if it's your favorite gun on the ground, it's not worth throwing around just so you can look at that pretty skin. Finally, never drop your teammates bad skins. What the fuck is this? 